Western leaders propose to end the war in Ukraine by inviting Ukraine to join NATO. Meanwhile, Russia is losing more than 1,200 soldiers per day in Ukraine. Uh, also, Israel continues its uh, offensive operations in Lebanon. So, how does Western leaders propose to end the war in Ukraine by inviting Ukraine to join NATO and uh, is the strategy popular among the Western leaders? Financial Times reported about the new Western strategy to end the war in Ukraine. There are also discussions about the uh, possible Ukraine's membership in NATO. Ukraine could get a NATO membership in exchange of uh, a ceasefire with Russia. So Ukraine could be invited to join NATO uh, and uh, that's why Ukraine can negotiate a peaceful settlement of the war with Russia. Uh, this idea is being discussed right now among the Western allies and uh, Western leaders. However, the, uh, the act, the Article 5 of the NATO treaty would not be active for the Russian, Russian occupied territories, for the Ukrainian territories occupied by Russia. Uh, however, also both sides uh, could agree that Russia can hold this uh, occupied terrain uh, in Ukraine. However, uh, the West and Ukraine would not recognize occupied uh, territories of Ukraine by Russia as Russian. One, because they are Ukrainian, that's why uh, Ukraine could agree to solve the problem of occupied territories in the future by the diplomatic means. That's why Ukraine could be invited to join NATO and Western experts say that it could help Ukraine to rebuild its country to boost economic uh, pressure to um, improve economic position and to maintain prosperity and to move forward uh, to membership in the European Union and move forward on its uh, Western pathway to the Western alliances and other uh, Western uh, alliances and other Western partnerships to improve Ukraine's position in the future. Also, former NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that it could be a possible scenario because Japan uh, has received security guarantees from the United States, which uh, did not include uh, security guarantees for the Kuril Islands. Also, uh, there are lots of discussions that Ukraine could join NATO as uh, the West Germany joined NATO in 1955 because the, uh, uh, the first article of the NATO treaty could, uh, could uh, be in action only for the territory which are controlled by Ukraine, but not for the territory which are occupied by Russia. And this topic is uh, really um, is being discussed right now among the Western allies and the Western par partners. Uh, also, there are lots of, um, uh, there are lots of people experts that say that Moscow would not agree to such conditions. However, the West can force Russia to do anything. The West can force Russia to uh, conduct negotiations with Ukraine in good faith if it uh, has enough political will to do so. Uh, however, uh, there are other uh, main topics and other discussions which are going on right now. The Washington Post reported that Ukraine uh, could receive another invitation to join NATO or uh, could, uh, could face another good decision in, in its aspiration to join NATO at the upcoming Rammstein meeting this week in Germany. Uh, as we reported previously, US President Joe Biden will host and will participate in the Rammstein meeting this week in Germany. Also, President Zelensky will be there. There will be lots of discussions on, on, in support of Ukraine leaders uh, we'll discuss uh, how to support Ukraine and how to help Ukraine to better defend itself against the Russian aggression. Also, uh, Western Post reported that new steps are expected in, in support of Ukraine's membership in NATO. Uh, also, Ukraine could receive another help for Germany uh, because Ukraine did not receive the authorization to use long-range missiles inside Russia. President Zelensky returned from the United States without U.S. permission to, for Ukraine to uh, use Western-made weapons inside Russia. That's why Germany could 
provide Ukraine with another support, Washington Post uh, reported. Uh, also, there are lots of discussions that U.S. President Joe Biden could allow Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia after the U.S. general election, because President Biden now hesitates to allow Ukraine to do so because it could influence the opinion of voters and could uh, have an effect on the, the U.S. general election. That's why President Biden hesitates to allow Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia right now. But there are some expectations that he can do so after the U.S. general election and before the January so he could have uh, sometimes to make some critical decision in support of Ukraine and in support of the Ukrainian war effort to help Ukraine to better defend itself against Russia and to finally win this war. Meanwhile, six North Korean officers were killed by Ukrainian missile strikes near Donetsk. Uh, also, the Times reported that half of the uh, Russian uh, ammunition, half of Russian artillery shells, which are uh, used in Ukraine, are being uh, supplied by the North Korea. The Times reported new development in the cooperation between Russia and North Korea. Uh, also, half of the, uh, approximately half of the, from the three million shells which are used by Russia in Ukraine, are being supplied by North Korea. Also. British intelligence reported that six North Korean officers uh, were killed in Ukraine. Also, Russia faced uh, tremendous losses in Ukraine. According to the British intelligence, there is a new record in the Russia's casualties in Ukraine. So, the average uh, number of the Russian casualties per day in Ukraine is more than 1,200 soldiers per day. That's why Russia faces such huge losses on the ground in Ukraine. Also, um, the Times reported new intelligence assessment from the UK government. UK government is confident that Russia is unable to capture Pokrovsk and push Ukrainian forces out of the Kursk region without conducting a full-scale mobilization campaign. That's why Putin uh, is hesita hesitates to conduct another mobilization campaign because uh, he knows that Russians do, does not want, do not want to fight uh, the war in Ukraine. That's why he is afraid of his own people. Also, there are other information that uh, Ukrainian forces continue its offensive operation in the Kursk region as Russian forces fail to counterattack and to repel. Uh, Ukraine's invasion of Russia. That's why Russian dictator Vladimir Putin uh, established a new deadline for Russian forces to uh, liberate the Kursk region until the end of the October. However, Russian forces failed the previous task to liberate the Kursk region until the 1st of October. That's why Russian forces failed to repel Ukrainian attack deep inside Russia. Meanwhile, the Israeli Defense Forces continue its operation inside Lebanon. Israeli army conducted this night a massive air attack on Beirut and on other cities of Lebanon. They tried to capture, to destroy the command centers, the ammunition depots of the Hezbollah. Uh, Israeli armed forces continue its offensive operation inside the Lebanon also, Israel Defense Forces uh, said that they have already eliminated more than 400 Hezbollah terrorists there. Uh, also, Israel is, dis is discussing, is discussing uh, on is discussing how uh, it would like to retaliate to the recent Iranian attack on the Hezbollah. Also, Reuters reported that. Israel does not exclude the possibility of the attack on Iranian nuclear sites. That's why President Biden is afraid of another escalation on the Middle East. But Israel seeks to completely destroy Hezbollah and other proxy forces of Iran. Also, Israel is preparing for a retaliation to Iran and could even strike and destroy Iranian nuclear sites if it is decided because Nothing is, ex nothing is excluded, according to the Israeli officials. That's all for today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, save with us on YouTube and glory to Ukraine.